A few weeks ago, I created a hardcore Iron Man with the sole intention of killing level 3s in PvP worlds. There are plenty of level 3s skilling in PvP worlds because there are no competition for resources, and there are almost no one hunting for level 3s. Except for me, of course. In this episode, we are going to continue hunting level 3s as well as progress the account. Leave a like, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. For the first time ever on RuneScape, I have actually enjoyed to skill for some reason. I think I'm going for 99 fire making on this account. I got the pyromancer's top, and that's the hoodie. Ooh, we got the torch. We got the warm gloves, boys. A pyromancer robe legs, nice. Another milestone 85 fire making on the hardcore. All right, another five caskets. A tome of fire, please. Nothing. <gasps> we got the dragon axe. One in ten k. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Why? I don't even want this axe. No. Why? Wait. Can I use it? I can't even use it. Boots. That's an upgrade. Boots. We got the boots. Thank you. I managed to get myself 90 fire making without getting a single tome of fire from Winter Todd. And while I was grinding Winter Todd, I was scouting for level threes on my other accounts. And I did actually find a few. Come here. Don't hit me. And I kill a bot. Kill a bot for what? Sandworms. Worth 28k. Alright. I was casually scouting PvP worlds and I received this message from a guy called Al Jamain. He told me that there is a level 3 with 52 runecrafting experience doing soul runes. So I managed to find the guy training in runecrafting and after looking up his stats he had 8 skills with 200 mil experience. So I just had to go for it. Even though I thought this was a bait. If I'm getting baited now, I'm gonna be very very upset but he's supposed to be here mining. We'll see, we'll see. There he is! Double zero. He's AFK. Is this the kill? Come on, don't teleport on me. That's the actual kill, we got him! We killed him! Cosmic Blues is down for soul runes. <gasps> that could be a lot. We gotta hop out of this account, we got our loot right here. It hasn't spawned yet. It's supposed to be somewhere here. There's a bone bolt, maybe here. There it is, soul runes, how many? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking... We got 9 mil! Oh my god! This is what I'm saying, there are plenty of level 3 skillers that think they are completely safe in PvP worlds. But they are not. Look at that, that one kill paid for 3 bonds. Just like that, one kill. Something I've noticed since starting this account is that someone have been placing out level 3s as a bait so they could kill me on another account and make me lose my hardcore Iron Man status. Even though there's no bounty on this account, they, they have just tried to kill me for the fun of it. And I don't know who it is. I hope he's poisoned. He's AFK. He's a bot. He's dead! We killed someone! There we go, Reg and Jean Pass, how many? 372? We just PK'd 450k on the hardcore Iron Man, not bad. An easy way for me to get early game farming levels is to buy bagged plants from Faldor and use them on my player own house. This way I can easily get to 15 farming and from there I can plant oak trees. And 10 minutes later that is 16 farming. One level more than necessary but there we go, we can plant oak trees now. How much XP does one of these give? 467, okay, we got one farming level. 19 farming, 20 farming. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, ooh, 95 fire making. I've spotted someone who is a potential bait to kill my hardcore Iron Man. I'm not sure yet, but I have to kill him. He's standing right here in world 92. What's the bait? What's the plan here? Are you just gonna die to me? Run out, run out, run out. <laughs> Ropes and crude chairs, I see VA. One of my biggest goals with this account is to kill one of these level 3 lures. But right now, like at every location they're at, they have a level 13 protecting them. So in case I come there, I put my account at risk. And there it is. 
The 99 fire making. I can't really complain about the loot from Wintertown. Look at all the supplies. We got all the seeds, all the logs, all the ores. And then of course we got the dragon axe, a bunch of coins and a bunch of raw fish. So we got supplies for ages here. I can see him. I can see his fire cape. Look at his skill cape. This is the one we want. Can I buy a skill cape of fire making? Of course you can. 99k. Okay, that seems reasonable. Boom. We have upgraded ourselves to a fire making cape. Look at that. This is my first ever fire making skill cape. I'm so proud of myself. Holy oh, shit. That wasn't our chance, was it? Oh, I forgot it was multi there. I decided to get myself 80% favor. With this favor, I can now enter both the woodcutting guild and the farming guild. I'm not sure if any skillers come to the farming guild, but I do know that there's a lot of skillers going to the woodcutting guild. Mostly high levels, but potentially low levels as well. I guess we'll find out now. Alright, let's have a look here. I don't think there's gonna be any level 3s, but there's potential. <gasps> there's a level 3 here. That's another 0. That's a 6. Hey, we got a kill! In world 37. Elven boots and elven top. There's a level 3 upstairs with a lot of risk, so we're gonna take him out. Here we go. Potentially poisoned. Come on, come on, get the last hit. Oh my god, we got we killed a guy with fashion scape. Look at that. We made a weapon. 33k from that kill and people told me I was wasting my time making this account <gasps> Oh my god PBG the first guy I killed he's assuming this is the guy who killed him I'm trying to spice up some drama here Dirty farming we can now plant the willow trees This may be a dirty tactic, but I befriended a level 15 with 99 prayer And I'm gonna log in under him and try to kill him Oh, I killed him! <laughs> I killed him! Even though I killed him, we became good friends along the journey. There it is. Is he AFK? He is, he is AFK. He is AFK. We got the red Shin Shampas on the ground. We're gonna log out this account. Here's the Shin Shampas. Please be at least like 100. 42. I decided to get 100% Hasidius favor. I can now enter Tit Farm. And I can use the minigame teleport to Tit Farm. This way I can get to Zaya very very easily. Anytime I need to PK someone here. A great milestone on the account. 26 herb lore. We can now make energy potions. This is more necessary than you probably think. This account is very restricted with the teleports I can use. So running around with energy potions is going to be very helpful for the account. Another milestone. 30 herb lore. And that is 70 woodcutting on the hardcore. Uh, a nice little 40 farming there. One of the last unlocks on this account is a teleport method to RD and if we complete the easy diary of RD we will get the RD cape which will give us free unlimited teleports to RD every single day. To get the RD cloak we need to sell silk for 60 GP. We need to check what pets we have insured. None. We need to use the RD lever to the wilderness. Identify a rusty sword. Start a game of fishing trawler. Teleport to the rune essence mine. We need to pray at the altar. The final thing we need to do is to complete Plague City and Biohazard to be able to enter the combat training camp in West RD. The RD achievement diary, easy, have now been completed. Let's grab the reward and grab ourselves the unlimited cape teleport. And there's the cape. This cape can teleport me unlimited time to the RD Monastery. And this is great for the PvP locked Hardcore Ironman Hunt. Where early game Hardcore Ironmans go to RD to do quests, steal cakes and other activities. And with that being said, I would like to say farewell to the account Scout Zone. This will be the final episode on the account. We got a new high risk Hardcore Ironman series on the horizon. And I think you guys are going to love it. But before we start the new Hardcore Ironman series, there's just one thing left we need to do.